あの今もですね福島第一原発から放射性物質がですね、えー、推定ですが毎時10億ベクレル10億ベクレルパーアワー1時間あたり10億ベクレルこれが放出されているとされていますはいこれについてこの現状につきまして博士からですね我々のその健康等に及ぼす影響についてあのご見解をお願いしたいと思います What you have here is a disaster beyond imagining and, and I actually said this right from the very beginning you know, from, from almost day one it was quite clear that this was out of control and nobody knows what to do about it there is just no obvious answer to this what I think about it is that it's ultimately going to be probably the greatest catastrophe in the whole of human history this is my feeling about it I don't know why I'm laughing incidentally um, but if but something has to be done about it with with great speed and it seems to me that this is not a Japanese issue this is a global issue and the people responsible are not the Japanese people or the Japanese government they are the international nuclear industry and it seems to me that some decision has to be made at the very highest level in, in, in the United Nations uh, and this would be the International Atomic Energy Agency to pour as much money and, and power and energy into this situation to do something drastic as quickly as possible and there are a number of possible drastic solutions but they have to be implemented soon because every moment that this fissioning continues and there's no reason at all why it shouldn't continue forever every moment increases the number of dead people that is going to ensue because what we have here is, subs is, is, is a situation where everything appears to be normal I drive to Aizu Wakamatsu and the trees are still trees and the people are shopping and the birds are singing and the dogs are walking in the streets and that's because we, are, we can't see what's happening it's all invisible but if you bring out the machines you can see that everything is sparkling and everybody is being bitten by invisible snakes that will yeah. eventually kill them sorry so I do a bit of that yeah <laughs> It took only a few days for the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant to cripple the nuclear plant. Now a panel appointed by the Japanese government is confirmed it'll take many years to safely decommission the facility's reactors. This job has been a long time for a very long time. About 30 panel members held an initial meeting on Wednesday to talk about the timetable for permanently closing the plant. They include officials from the Nuclear Safety Commission and Fukushima Daiichi's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company. Yuichi Hayase worked with U.S. researchers in studying the accident at Three Mile Island in 1979. He briefed participants on how that plant was brought under control. He explained it took 11 years to attract extract all the fuel rods because workers were coping with the world's first nuclear meltdown. It was also necessary to develop remote-controlled robots and technology to process contaminated wastewater. Panel members discussed mid- and long-term challenges in the decommissioning process, among the hurdles how to repair the reactor containment vessels and decontaminate the buildings by remote control so the melted nuclear fuel can be extracted. The panel plans to finalize the decommissioning timetable by early next year. That's the end of the second stage of the process to bring Fukushima Daiichi under control. Blanket testing of beef cattle will also be carried out in Shimane Prefecture in western Japan. Shimane is more than 700 kilometers away from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The local government decided to run tests after radioactive cesium exceeding government safety levels were detected in rice straw in late July. The straw was used for feed at a farm in the prefecture. It had been brought from the disaster hit Tohoku region. Subsequent tests of beef cattle found far lower levels of radioactivity than the government standard, but prices of beef from Shimane have plummeted. A senior agricultural official of the prefecture says it decided to conduct the inspections to ease consumer concerns. He said the prefecture will ask the national government to pay for the tests. They will start next week at the earliest.
Local governments across Japan are working to help farmers and consumers deal with concerns about irradiated beef. The Fukushima prefectural government plans to buy beef cattle from farmers beginning as early as next week. Producers there have been unable to ship their cattle after beef in the region was found to be highly radioactive. The cattle are believed to have eaten rice straw contaminated with cesium exceeding the government limit. Fukushima Prefecture has decided to buy beef cattle that have become too old to sell due to the shipping suspension in place since last month. On Tuesday, a producers group agreed with the prefectural government to set up a consultative body as early as next week to purchase cattle with subsidies from the prefectural government. But the producers and the prefecture failed to agree on purchase prices and will continue discussions. We want the cattle bought quickly and we want the shipment ban lifted as soon as possible. Farmers have staged a protest in front of TEPCO's headquarters demanding immediate compensation for those affected by the ban on beef cattle shipments due to radiation fears. <laughs> About 350 cattle and rice farmers across Japan on Wednesday took part in the protest against TEPCO. The protesters displayed cattle and rice straw on a truck parked in front of the company's headquarters. The government has ordered four prefectures to suspend its shipments of cattle because of fears the meat could pose a health threat. Well, you're not serious, are you? Our income has been lost due to the shipment ban. Farmers' income has been wiped out. I'm angry that the utility has not yet paid any compensation to us. After the demonstration, about 30 farmers handed a letter to TEPCO official demanding compensation. We apologize to the farmers for causing them damage. We will pay for their loss based on surveys being conducted by the authorities. The Japanese government says rice harvested in the coming months will be tested for radioactivity in order to ensure the safety of the country's staple. The Agriculture Ministry announced at a meeting of rice farmers on Wednesday that rice grown in areas with high levels of radioactive cesium in the soil will be tested both before and after harvest. If the amount of cesium in the post-harvest test exceeds the government sets the safety limit of 500 becquerels per kilogram, shipments of rice from that area will be banned. Farmers will be obligated to dispose of the banned rice. Tokyo Electric Power Company, the owner of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, will be forced to pay compensation to the farmers. The government says 14 prefectures ranging from northeastern to central Japan will be subject to the checks. Tests will, be, will also be carried out in areas where more than 1,000 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram are detected in soil and more than 0.1 microsieverts of cesium per hour are detected in the air. Japan's diet has approved legislation to help Tokyo Electric Power Company compensate victims of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident. This paves the way for full-scale compensation. So far, only provisional payments have been made. The upper house of the Diet approved the bill on Wednesday. It had majority support from both the ruling and main opposition parties. Under the law, an entity will be set up to help the utility pay compensation to people and industries affected by the nuclear disaster. Other utility firms that operate nuclear plants are expected to contribute funds to the new organization. The government will also issue special bonds to inject public funds into the body. It plans to set up the organization by early next month at the latest. The government panel is currently evalu evaluating TEPCO's assets as part of the fundraising efforts. The Japanese government plans to create a new nuclear safety agency. This is to separate regulatory functions from the industry ministry, which promotes nuclear energy. The government has been reviewing the current administration following the Fukushima accident. The draft plan calls for detaching regulatory functions of the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency from the Industry Ministry and establishing a new regulatory body under the Environment Ministry.
The new body would be in charge of initial responses to accidents and radiation monitoring, as well as control of radioactive substances. It would also be responsible for measures to counter nuclear terrorism in coordination with public security authorities. We will study the plan as soon as possible to review the independence, neutrality and feasibility of the new body. Edano said that the nuclear uh, safety agency should be separated from the industry ministry around April next year. Hiroshima University is to launch a study focusing on the health impact of exposure to low-level radiation. The university has been providing medical care to atomic bomb survivors. The university set up a committee on Tuesday to use its knowledge to help people affected by the Fukushima nuclear accident. One of the main themes is the analysis of the impact of low-level radioactive exposure on human genes. The university says that when cumulative exposure reaches 100 millisieverts, the chances of developing cancer are said to rise by 0.5 percent. It also says there is not enough data available anywhere in the world about an exposure to radiation below that level. Uncertainty about exposure to low-level radiation makes people uneasy. We hope to give them more dependable information by researching this issue. They won't die. In fact, that'll be our motto. They won't die. Rice. Japan's staple crop is used in art as well as for food. But as concerns grow over the radiation contamination in beef, it's feared that this year's rice harvest could also be tainted by the nuclear fallout. Fukushima organic food supplier Ito Toshihiko worries that traces of radioactive cesium may be found in his fields. My first question to myself was, how can I continue to sell my products if I'm not willing to eat it myself? But after that, I realized we must protect our neighbors, our children. We can't trust the information that we're being given. Contaminated rice straw fed to cows in northeastern Japan resulted in thousands of kilograms of cesium-laced beef being unknowingly sold to consumers. Toshihiko is spending tens of thousands of dollars to test his produce, reassuring consumers that his rice and fruit crops are safe. These fields were bare back in March when the nuclear reactors went into meltdown some 60 kilometers from here. No one knows if radiation has seeped into the soil and whether it will affect the rice crop when it's harvested in a month from now. Sueke Kesuke is a radioisotope specialist who has been collecting soil samples from around Fukushima since the earthquake and tsunami. He has mapped the hotspots in red according to his tests. Generally speaking, 10% of the cesium in soil will be absorbed by the crop. If you look at the safety level suggested by the government of 500 baccarels per kilogram, then only the areas in the red spots will be over the safe limit of cesium. But in the other coloured areas, you never know how much will be absorbed until you actually farm something. It's tricky. It takes more than 100 years for the cesium levels contained in the soil to drop. Trust in the government to handle the situation is low. Rice planting has been banned in areas close to Fukushima and two tests are to be carried out on rice from northeastern Japan before it's sold. But questions remain over how much is being revealed to the public as radiation seeps deeper into the food chain destroying confidence in a nation that prides itself on quality produce. Ella Callan, Al Jazeera, Fukushima, Japan. What you have here is a disaster beyond imagining. Every moment increases the number of dead people that is going to ensue. Because what we have here is, subs is, is, is a situation where everything appears to be normal. I drive to Aizu Wakamatsu and the trees are still trees. And the people are shopping and the birds are singing and the dogs are walking in the streets. And that's because we, are, we can't see what's happening. It's all invisible. But if you bring out the machines, you can see that everything is sparkling and everybody is being bitten by invisible snakes that will yeah. eventually kill them. Sorry. Shall I do a bit of that? 